Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I'm going to do a hair video and I've wanted to do this one for a while since getting my Dyson Air Wrap and that is to compare it to this big bad boy. <laughs> so these are the two stylers I'm going to be trying out today. Obviously I've tried this one a lot. This is the Dyson Air Wrap and I'm only going to be trying out this brush attachment, the round brush attachment, because this one only has this big rounded brush attachment. The Revlon one is much more of an oval shape um, than a, just a round brush. Apparently this is a new and improved shape, um, whereas previously I think it was just one big round barrel. Obviously initially the Revlon hair styler is a lot cheaper than the Dyson Air Wrap by <laughs> a huge amount. You do get a lot of other attachments with the Dyson Air Wrap compared to the Revlon hairbrush. So I'm going to start with the Revlon styler because I haven't shown it in a video yet um, and I'm just going to part my hair in half so I can do half the Revlon styler and half with the Dyson Air Wrap. So before I do any heat styling with either I'm just going to add a little bit of this Living Proof 5-in-1 styling treatment and I've been really loving this recently. I'm just going to take a little bit rub it in my hands and then start on the ends and then just work up my hair. So the first thing I noticed about this when I turned it on is how noisy it is and it is very loud. I feel like if you're living in a flat or a shared house you definitely don't want to be using this late into the night because it is very very loud and <laughs> I have very sensitive ears and I have found when I use this afterwards my ears are sort of ringing a little bit because it's so noisy um, but anyway I'm just gonna start using it show you guys how it works and then you can see what it looks like afterwards and make up your own mind <laughs> So that is drying with the Revlon styler. It is nice and quick to dry my hair with that. Um, obviously my hair wasn't completely soaking when I started. But yeah, it looks nice and sleek. You don't have to be too like particular with your technique to make it look like this. Um, but yeah, my ear is now ringing again. <laughs> because it's so noisy. It does have a cold setting that I just ran over my hair, but it takes a while for it to get cold again once it's been on the hot setting. Um, so yeah, it does have a cold setting and it has a slightly lower powered setting, um, but you can't change the temperature, which is the annoying thing and it gets very hot. Okay, so moving on to the Dyson, I'm gonna use the hottest setting to start with and then I'll get cooler towards the end. So this is the finished dry hair with the Dyson Air Wrap. I feel like it took me a tiny bit longer maybe just because the barrel is not quite as large and it doesn't let out quite as much hot hot air as this Revlon styler does. But overall they do create a very similar look and you can't exactly tell that I've used two different stylers to do my hair right now. I do often find the quality of the air is much nicer in the Dyson, so it doesn't feel quite as damaging. And then throughout the day, it also it sort of feels a little bit more sleek and just nicer than it does sometimes when I have used the Revlon one. So yeah, they're pretty similar and I have been quite enjoying the Revlon styler because it's just so quick and easy, you don't really have to think about it, but I do love the effect that the Dyson has. And if you want to splash out, I would go for the Dyson um, to save your ears, because this one is just so loud and it just really hurts my ears, so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to use it for. Oh, we have a visitor. Oh, we have a visitor. Hello. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh 
overall I think if you're on a budget definitely go for the Revlon hair styler it gives a really nice effect super quick to use um, I actually bought this one on Amazon and I got some sort of discount because it was like a bank holiday discount so it's definitely always worth looking on Amazon for these sorts of things or if you're a student they usually do student discount on like look fantastic and think places like that but anyway i hope that has helped if you're in the dilemma of knowing which one to purchase um let me know in the comments down below if you have either of them and what you think of them and i will see you guys all in my next video bye